Hey. What's up, guys? Can you hear the jams? Can you hear the tunes? Can you hear the tunes? Hey. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, y'all. Hey. Hey. Hey, sis. How you doing, Cam? Thank you for joining. Hey. Can y'all hear me? Y'all can hear me okay? What's up, Allison? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Ashley. How are you? What's up, sweetheart? Hey, thank you for joining, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Grace Baldwin. Wait, is that my mom? Hey. <laughs> I'm excited. If that's my mama, let me tell you something. I am excited. What's up, Brandon? Hey, hey. What's up, Danielle? Thank you so much for tuning in. Just waiting for my special guest, Mr. Jason Cameron. Hey, what's up, farm chick? How are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Mr. Baldwin Style. I'll be your host tonight. Hey, catch the vibe, y'all. Hey, hey, catch that vibe, y'all. Thank you for tuning in, RouglyPolish.com. What's up? Welcome. Hey, 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 hey. What's it? Fifth on fam? Catch the vibe, fifth on fam, catch a vibe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning it in. Hey. Heard that, heard that sound. Hey, hey. Every part of me. Hey, hey, hey. Sayid, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Guess the vibe, Sayid. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! I am so glad that you know who this is. Fifth on fam. Oh my gosh. What's up, Salo? How are you, buddy? Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm telling you guys, you know what? Let me run that back because that's just a vibe. Woo, woo, woo. Is anybody else vibing with me? Come on, like you guys, you know you can dance with me, right? You can dance. I'm legend. What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hey, 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 hey. Hola. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Queen Hazel. How are you? Maddie O'Neill. Allison, you're grooving. I see you. I see you. Hey, hey, I'm gonna just say it's high pops. <laughs> he wants he wants Courtney and I to, to adopt him. <laughs> Look to the light, y'all. What's up, Eliana? Hey. Look to the light. I don't really know the words, but I know the harmonies. For my, for my guy, where's my guy? 
Male model photography chat. Thanks for enlightening chats. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's what this is all about. It's beyond the surface. It's beyond all of that, you know, so I really do appreciate it. I gotta figure out what my guest is though. Did he forget about me? What's up, Chisa? Hey, catch this vibe. Hey, hey, what's up, friend? Catch that vibe, girl. Everything I do. I know Chisa's vibing with me if nobody else is. I know it's my sweetheart is vibing with me. Get it, Courtney. I see you, but I don't see you. But I see you. What's up, Amanda? Oh my gosh, it's a blast from the past. Hey. Kiss that vibe, y'all. Kiss that vibe, y'all. Hey, hey. And of course you know who this is, Jason. Of course. Of course. I love it. Sending love and light to you and the Browns. You know, we love you guys. I will. You know what? I, I think that's a good vibe, right? You know, but I'm trying to figure out where my guest is. Where is my guest? Let me look and see. Is he in here? Please hold. Please hold. He's not in here. So what are we going to do? Anybody got any questions for me? Just random questions while we wait for our special guest to get here? Yeah, I clicked on the arrow and I don't see my, my guest in here. Where are you, Jason? Unless you, you uh, slipped in here and I, and I missed you. Yeah, I don't see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, I didn't, I didn't miss him. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey. See, now I got to turn the music back on because I think I missed my guest. Can y'all hear that? I didn't even see you, Jay. Oh. Hey, brother. All right. Hold on. Let me turn off my music. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh have you worried for a moment man i was vibing and vibing and vibing and vibing and i was like yo i do not see jason you know i'm not gonna lie it's my first time out here <laughs> and, uh, i'm not to age myself but it, i'm happy to be here thank you for having me of course brother I'm of course. we can make this happen absolutely man absolutely and I, look if you are aging yourself I am a granddaddy over here, for real, for real. And to think of all the years we've been in this game. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yep. So that's kind of like dog years. So we're both close to to eighty or something like that. <laughs> what what's right. going on? This is crazy. This I is live it. though. So. There's a lot of things that, that that come up. You know, one time I did this, one of the picture frames back here, literally as I was talking, just fell. And I was like, it's been up there for a long time. Yeah. So you picked tonight to fall? It, it had a moment, you know? It, it had its moment, exactly. It had a fashion moment. It's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro, it, it's, all, it's all good. So listen, thank you so much for taking out your time. To, to chat with me and to meet with the people and to, you know, share some knowledge, some things yeah. that you've learned along the years. I appreciate of that. Of course, of course. It's, it's been a long time coming. And uh, as much as I enjoy my privacy, I'm happy to be out here sharing, sharing some knowledge and some insight, some thoughts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, it's all about teaching other people and, you know, spreading the knowledge, spreading wisdom. And that's what I'm all about, man. So. Love that. Love that about you and uh, couldn't be happy to be here. Uh, awesome. Awesome, man. So look, before we hop into it, I just want to set the ground rules for people. You may not have seen any of the other ones, but 
like what I try to tell people is, look, take off your shoes, relax, grab some, you know, water or whatever your drink of choice is. Um, got my tea. It, there it is. I got my water. All right. In my coffee mug. <laughs> but you know what? Don't don't be disrespectful. Anyone, if you have a question, ask it in the comments. Hopefully, I'll be able to see it, or Jason may be able to see it, and then we'll respond to it if if possible. Um, but clear your minds. No haters. If you see anybody, strong arm them. Like we don't have time for that. This is all about love, acceptance, peace, understanding, all of those things, and specifically tonight, strength. So I give you permission to strong arm anybody that's talking crazy in these comments, all right? <laughs> you know, I, I'm focused on you. I'm not really focused on them, but I'll try. I'll try and see if I can answer any questions that come up. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Hey, what's up, Joshua? What's up, Joshua Dwayne? Um, so listen, guys, this is my brother, my homie. We met years ago when I was a style editor, style director for Mr. Porter. And over here in the U.S. And literally, I, I feel like you were, if not the first, probably the second model that I worked with there, like, period. Like, yeah. you had been there, like, way before I got there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had been there for a little bit. I, I, I know the ropes. Um, yeah. I'm thinking this was probably about, what, five, four, four years ago. Yeah, maybe longer than maybe five. Yeah, but yeah. We they didn't shoot too many guys uh, at that time. You know, there were more women sets for sure. Yes. But, um, you know, they had a, the tight rotation, and uh, I was lucky enough to be in that. And you know, I knew when they brought you on, they had good things coming to them. So it was an exciting moment when we got to catch up in the studio for the first time, and many times after that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And the thing is, is just like when I saw that they had you know, had you, you know, a black man, and then I get hired, they created the position for me. So I was just like, you know what, I've got to see more black and brown faces. And I play. saw some good things coming. I, I thought I was like, it was, it was definitely a, an exciting moment for me too. I was like, you know, when I open like a little wider, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You broke the mold, man. You broke the mold. And that's yeah. that's super dope. So um, not only are you a model, like, I feel like you do, like, some philanthropic stuff, too. I saw on your Instagram earlier you were doing some stuff for Glam for for Good. Is that yeah. what it's called? Uh, Glam for Good is a non-for-profit that I've been pretty dedicated to um, more or less the past four or five years. Mary Ellis Stevenson, uh, stylist. Yeah, yeah. You know, she she started this baby, and I had the opportunity to jump on board four or five years ago, and uh, we were doing a donation of toys for a battered women's shelter. I donated quite a few toys. They're like, "You seem really into this," and I, you know, I was like, "Yeah, you know, these kids deserve something." I really Absolutely. Want to be a part of it, and I said, "Okay, keep me out the club for the night. Let's let's do something positive." And uh, yeah. so I went on board, and you know they went to a dislocate. You know you couldn't know where the location was, and it was a very powerful, moving moment. So mm -hmm. this has been a great additive to modeling and being a little more philanthropic and helping those in need for sure. It's um, been on my to do, and throughout COVID, it's been a bigger opportunity for me to give back. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, that's that's amazing, and I feel like we're all trying to figure out ways to to give back and to, you know, do things that are positive in yep. such a negative situation we got. There's a lot of challenging times going on or whatnot. Um, but, you know, that leads me to my to my next question. Um, how are you? Like, how are you? How's your how's your heart? My heart is 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 it wants for more for our country, but for me right now, I'm at peace. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm in a good place. I think it's mostly because I am, you know, as you saw in my Instagram stories, doing more for not just myself, but for others. And, you know, creating yeah. that existence outside of myself makes things that much better for me initially. Right. Um, so... Yeah, you know, as, as we were kind of just touched on, it's trying times and very sensitive moments in this country, but uh, I'm doing good. My heart is well. 
Yeah, well, that's good. That's definitely good to hear. And, you know, I was having a conversation earlier today and someone said, or someone asked me how I was doing. And of course, I think initially you are just so accustomed to saying, oh, I'm good. Yeah, everything's great. Um, and then the person actually stopped and was just like, but are we really? You know what I mean? Like, are we really? And I think generally speaking, everyone's kind of going through a lot of different growing pain, transitions, challenges, um, you know, across the gamut. Like there's just so much that's going on and so much to take in that we're really trying to be good. We're really trying to be at peace. We're really attempting to, to do the work to get to a centered place. But I have to say, it's like, for me, I can only speak for myself. It's been a day by day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, day by day. I yeah. couldn't have said it any better. Yeah, totally. So listen, have you been in New York this entire time? I have been in New York throughout okay. the entirety. Yeah, same here. Same here, man. Woo! Wholeheartedly, was... yeah. I, you know, it, it's, it says something. It, it yes. hits a little deeper. Um, yep, yep. But yes, I've been here. Well, to me, it speaks to the the strength and and that strong, you know, that will to carry on in spite of all of the obstacles and things that are that are going on in the yeah. world. Um, but during this time, like, how have you been keeping your mind and your spirit? Like, how do you keep your spirit up? You know, as as far as like my mind and the mental thing, you know, you have to be at peace with the yes and no's of life. Mm. You know, yes, I want to be able to do this, but no, now's not the time. Yep. Um, you know, finding a peace with that and, and, and finding a schedule of, of trying to give yourself a mindset to what you can accomplish in a certain amount of time, that's kept me a little more sane. Um, yeah. That's good, though. Yeah, it, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, it, By no it, stretch it, of the imagination. No, you can get caught up <laughs> real quick, real quick. Yeah. But, uh, I just try and keep keep on moving day to day mentally is, you know, trying to set new goals, trying to accomplish the little things that, you know, maybe I can set forth for what limited things you can do in this time. Um, yeah. You know, it's like making the bed <laughs> in the morning is like an accomplishment. <laughs> It's like, look, wow. man. Well, it's, you know, at the end of the day, you're like, well, you get back in that bed, you're like, well, that looks good, you know. <laughs> look, it's the little things, man. It's the little things, you know, and and those little things become big accomplishments whenever you're stuck in the house, you know, or I, however you look at it, stuck in the house or privileged to be in the house. Yeah, you know, like being in an apartment and not yeah. a house yep. in the city, you know, it, it kind of creates an even more of a tinier box for your mind to be in. And, you know, we've come so far living in this city and, and dealing with the atrocity of all of the death and all of the silence. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> that was an interesting trying mental time. So Heck yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to define strength because like I always try to give like the textbook refresher of strength or you know of whatever the topic is that we're talking about and so when I looked it up some of the definitions of strength were um, the quality or state of being physically strong uh, the second was the capacity of an object or substance to withstand great force or pressure the third is the potency or degree of concentration of a drug, chemical, or a drink. So how strong is that coffee type of thing? Um, and lastly, a good or beneficial quality or attrib attribute of a person or a thing. And whenever I set these things up and I reach out to people or whatever, I normally like kind of pick the person first, like the person comes to mind, like whatever names drops in my spirit or whatever. And I'm like, oh, what about? And then I reach out. And then as I think about the person, the topic comes. And, and for whatever reason, I follow that. 
and and so I ask is like, hey, do you feel cool about this topic or whatever? And um and whenever I asked you, do you feel cool about the topic? And you said yes, like this is this is perfect. Why did that? Why did why does strength resonate with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, strength I think has a lot to do with my upbringing, um, my family. Yeah. Uh, it goes back to my grandfather, you know, a sergeant in the military, in the army in, in mm. 1944, you know, a time when you didn't see, see many black sergeants. And so my mother as an only child was very, raised very militantly. And, yeah. you know, get up soldier, you know, yeah, exactly. soldier, get him in line. <laughs> and, you know, you know, we didn't fall too far behind, my brother and I. So it, it, I think it started there, strength and seeing my, you know, my mom is this, you know, raised my brother and I and, you, you see the strength and, and you, you need to, you know, embrace it. And, yeah. and you know, eventually it, it kind of resonates with you. Hopefully you pick it up. And when you mentioned strength, it, it kind of more recently, I had dealt with the passing of my grandmother. Yeah. Who yeah. was the strongest woman I had ever known. Yeah. I mean, and, look, we uh, had conversations about Oh, I think that's my main go-to conversation <laughs> for like every set I go to because she is so encouraging. Yes. She's the one that got me out here. She she embodies strength, and so when you said that, you know, I'm at a point now where I can kind of talk about it in a very embracing and a, and a positive way. Because without her strength, I wouldn't have this or anything that I do here. Yeah, and yeah. you know, it's funny that you, that you, um, you know, kind of rely on the strength of of your grandmother because. I often rely on the strength of my grandfather. And the the reason why I affectionately known as Papa. Um I'm from Papa? the South. Pa Papa. Papa. Okay, we do Papa. 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 But, yeah, uh, yeah. Papa. That's that's my nice. that's my southern my southern accent coming out. Papa. Right. <laughs> but you know, the reason why I'm even in fashion, you know, largely he has a lot to do with it because just watching him mow the yard like in a tracksuit and boat shoes. And I'm like, Papa, what are you doing? Like, or, or like a white shorts and a polo. Yeah. And, and I'm like, what, how, why are you, why are you mowing the yard like that? And just seeing that, that type of, you know, polish and that strength and that ability to kind of get up and keep going, even though, of course, I'm sure my grandfather, your grandmother, your grandparents, um, my parents, your parents, like have, gone through and endured so so much more yes absolutely um so much more yeah <laughs> undoubtedly yeah yeah and and when i think about this topic too i also think about you know it wasn't that long ago that like say for instance my my mother and father both went to segregated schools like yeah. Well, in the south, you're from the south, yeah, that's that wouldn't that's not surprising. Um, and that's it, it was not that long ago, and I feel like you know, me growing up, you know, losing my mom as a teenager, my grandmother was pretty much my caretaker from like 17 on, yeah, and yeah, it, it, it was crazy. I felt like an old soul, like hearing all the stories, I felt like I was right there. I felt like you know, her talking about growing up in the 20s and 30s were talk of like stories that I had only seen in like textbook and that was true and that was you know her lifespan not yeah. just hers but I, I imagine that's like three lifespans from her how old she ended up you know, 99 and a half it's just yeah like, like wow yeah stones throw away not that far and you know we think we've come so far but it's it's a uh, it's been polished and exactly underneath the surface there's still some some rust yeah. <laughs> Some work to be done, yeah. Some pure, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm a visual person, so I have to put it in, you know, put it in perspective. So I want to shift a little bit, and then we'll shift back to kind of like strength in life. But you know, yeah. particularly because you are a fashion model, um, I want to kind of touch briefly on fashion. So, you know, first of all, how did you even get into model? Get into get into modeling. Modeling for me uh, was something that my mother kind of like toyed around with me at like an early age like my little model <laughs> i didn't think anything of it you know until i got through college i moved in with my grandmother 
Mm -hmm. fixed up the house and she kicked me out and saying, you need to go figure out your life. Wow. I said, hey, let's go try out modeling. So I literally get in my car and drive to New York City and look for an apartment and, you know, just hit the ground running. Uh, it wasn't really running. It was the largest storm in New York history in 20 years. It was like, it'll be 10 years this December. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So I have to put some time frame on how long I've been here. But, uh, yeah. you know, grandma kicked me out and said, go figure it out. And I didn't want to be in an office. Uh, my brother was in finance. And, you know, I really respected that that mindset and that passion that he was in. And I was like, I got to do something different or at yeah. least try. I had a lot of people before me that, like Tyson Bedford went to my high school. Oh, wow. I never knew like, that. My area. And he was like one of my idols growing up. And I was like, yeah. like if he can do it, you can, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there was no no excuses, so to speak, for me not to give it a, a good good try, uh, at that's, least. That's what's up, though. So and that so, was 2010. <laughs> nine, ten. And, you know, it's funny. I think I got here like 2000. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so <laughs> I think I've been here for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, just thought, yeah. Mm, that's a long time. Um, but yeah, you hit the ground running. and you. Well, it wasn't really passionate. running. It took about a year and a half to two years to get signed. I mean, I was hitting agencies, getting turned down left and right. I was too old. You know, they're like, you know, you never came here in your teens. Mm, you know, I was tw I was. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You can, you can say I'm joking. I'm joking. I, was 20, <laughs> I was 23 when I started going to castings. And, you know, I showed up with my, like, I forgot like my new balance is on and they're like, you got to fix this look, you know, like jeans and a baseball oh. cap. You know, I was very, <laughs> very fresh. So I really bought my first pair of Chuck Taylors that, that, that first week I got kept getting turned down and, and I still have those Chuck Taylors actually. Oh, that's crazy. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. They, they were black at one point. Now they're sunburnt orange. <laughs> <laughs> How the heck did they go from black to orange? That's crazy. That's how many castings you're waiting outside for. So. Oh, but hey, you you burn you burn in the pavement there. Yeah, um, that's what happens. But that's how I got in. I I kind of tried to make my way, make myself relevant, and you know, and just not take no. Cut that mental strength. And, you know, no's come, yeses come, maybes are always there. But you know, keeping the mental strength of you know trying to achieve that goal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, listen, that leads me to my next question. Like, what have been some moments in, in your career that that at the time you were kind of like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to have to move back. But it made you stronger because you stayed. Uh, it was literally a week before I hit my first campaign. I was I called my brother or my grandmother and I was like, you know, funds were very low. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was going to, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very, as my brother would say, resilient individual, and I, I'm very prideful, and I don't like to ask for assistance, and I'm like, you know, this is going to be the last week, and sure enough, I booked a campaign with Perry Ellis, and I was like, well, this will pay the bills for a couple months, you know, like, this, <laughs> it's an international campaign, I'm like, so this is a sign, this, I'm going to stay, and you Whoa, know, so that's that was dope. a deciding moment, you know, thank you. Daniel Jackson, photographer, Daniel Pedal Casting. And this was like six years ago, 2014, 15. Yeah. Um, and that was the moment, you know. And that, so if you look at the trajectory, in 2010, I get here. 2014, I booked my first campaign. I was casting and, you know, trying to get signed for about a year and a half. And I waited another year and a half after that to actually have a campaign. Wow. It's not easy. And, yeah, it's, you know, I feel like modeling all the big campaigns is when I got to the city and everything started to kind of go downhill, the lower race, the you know, unrecognizable, the whole, you know, how to sell better, sell more efficiently. Yep, yep, yep. But I, I just kept kept on keeping on. You know? Yeah, man, you I mean, you have to. And because, you know, the thing is, is that all that stuff is kind of trendy. And one minute you're, you know, all these companies are shooting unrecognizable where they're not showing the face for anyone who doesn't really know what that means. Like they kind of cut you off like here. So all you see is like your teeth and your nose. More people know this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They know this. <laughs> They're like, that's Jason right there. I know I know that smile. That's Jason. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the thing is is that it it the pendulum swings, like I said, like 
women in the company is like, you know, we're not shooting any faces. And then the next minute, it's all faces. It's just, it, it's kind of is what it is. And it's yeah. crazy. It, it's been a roller coaster. And, um, you know, I, I just enjoy fashion so much. It's never really phased me one way or the other. Being able to have a, a sound base and a sound clientele has been my savior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, the thing is, is that like, you got to pick something and focus on, you know, the positives of it. And now you're doing something, you know, pretty regularly that really does feed your soul, but it also has a fashion, you know. Yeah, it has a fashion aesthetic and, and you know, your your passions choose you in a sec, in a, you know. I like that. Different sense. Uh, I felt like, you know, fashion's always been my passion and my mom was, you know, uh, special education teacher in the inner city school district for 28 something you know a long time wow dealing with some of the the you know worst family issues in rochester new york that you know yeah but yeah wow i take that uh very close to me being able to take on her spirit and her you know what she was doing and to be able to do more like that that really resonates with me. It's had, oh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Got my little bandana, the emergency. Wow. Shout that, out to uh, women, go get checked up. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. You, you, see, I knew it. Ah, you always have to follow my gut. Like, this is so great. So moving into more like life type of, you know, elements of life as it pertains to strength. I'm going to read a few quotes to you. And I want you to kind of sound off um, as we go, like as I, so one of the quotes that I found um, about strength reads, you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. Do you agree? Yes. To a degree. Yeah. So, so. To, so to like, yeah. I mean, I think you have to hit a few bottoms before you can rise to the top. Like, you know, you'll be disappointed, great. But once you've been disappointed a few times and have the depth of disappointment, whether it's a loss or it's, you know, a failure in life or whatever, like, it takes, you know, you have to keep getting back up a few times before you can become resilient to see through the, the nonsense of life. Yeah, I completely agree, man. Because I feel like when you're going through it, um, you know, it feels like the end of the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're just kind of like, you, until all of the options have been kind of stripped from you, mm -hmm. like, then you don't really have any other choice but to just, like, go for it. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? Like, so, I totally so, so I, get, I get what you're saying, and I also agree with you. Um, and I've hit rock bottom before, and it doesn't feel good. Um, that first time you're like, oh, okay, well, I think I'm done. And then a week later, like you said, a week later, you're like, wait, oh, well, that wasn't so bad. I only had to wait a week. Well, had I known, I wouldn't have complained so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But we never know. So it's always, you know, it always behooves us to, to just stay focused and to be positive and to really kind of charge forward. Um, my next question is, well, my next question from that quote is, do you feel like you're always strong? Like, do you always feel pretty strong? No, no, I, I probably try and build people up more than I, I put out there. Like, you know, I, I think, you know, you have a, a sense of strength that you have to show to the world or, you know, to her try and uplift other people. But, you know, I'm, I'm human, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I fall, I, I trip. Uh, yeah. I get scuffed up just like everyone else. Uh, yeah. It's it's gotten a little easier to kind of find my piece and, and bounce back a little quicker. But yeah, no, I'm normal. I, I, I've been on a good streak. You know, they yeah. say there's Mercury's <laughs> in retrograde, but I'm about to be retro May. You know, I'm not. Hey, I'm I like that. That's a quotable. Hey. That's <laughs> a trademark. I don't know. Bro, yeah, cheers. I like that. Boom. Um, so. The next quote I wanted to read to you is, uh, our strength grows out 
of our weaknesses. Do you believe that? Our strength grows out of our weaknesses. I mean, I could take this for an example. I feel like I, I'm helping people possibly grow or give some insight. And this is one of, I wouldn't say my weaknesses, but I don't put myself out there. I don't come on social media a lot to really promote or to project. Um, but I think that there is a lot of good that can come out of something like this. And a yeah. lot of people that could resonate with what we're saying and be like, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know, I'm kind of torn because like, whenever I read it, our, our strength grows out of our weaknesses. Um, for me, I feel like, I, I don't, I, to be honest with you, it's just, it's, that's a hard one for me because I'm like, our strength grows out of our weaknesses. Yes and no. Well, that's why I kind of parted on the weakness. Like, I don't, like, it, parts of it make sense, but parts of it don't. Like, I can kind of understand what they're saying, but I can't completely join on Great. the wording. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, my next quote, or the next quote I have is, strength doesn't <coughs> come from winning. I'm sorry? That's okay. So it says, strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. I, I mean, you could placate to that all you want, like, but you're not always going to be that strong. That's true. It's so true. And get, guess who that one's by? I didn't even, I, I haven't said who, who any of those are by, but that was from uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. Exactly. I'm going to read that again for, for everyone. Uh, strength <laughs> does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is your strength. You know, I think parts of it are true. Some parts are, you know, de debatable. Um, <laughs> depending on how you want to, you know, debate it or whatever. Overarching how I, real do you want to be with yourself? It, yeah, on. I get what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then another one I have here is when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. I get physics into this. I know. What are your thoughts about that one? I mean there's a lot of truth to like pushing against all the obstacles that come against you. Um, too many in what I've already told you my storylines. So yeah. I have to, to be on, on the side of that 100%. You just got to keep pushing through. Yeah. The wind and hopefully your wings take flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so true, man. And I think, you know, like I said before, when, when you're in it, like it's so, it's hard. It's hard to, to really kind of sit in it and like, you know, get to a point where you got to action something. Yeah. yeah. It's so much easier sometimes to just kind of like just wallow in it and just really, but I also feel like that part is important too. Like you kind of have to sometimes sit and think and be methodical about your next move. Um, it's well, that's what the runway is for, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Absolutely. time there. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You know, it's a slow build. You just don't catch you just don't catch them, uh, you know. Yeah, we're not one of those F6 yeah. twice, whatever. It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. So uh, I'm glad I'm glad we got through the the quotes. But let me ask you a couple more questions about yeah. that. Um, what are, or actually, what and who inspires you to show up in life every day to keep you strong? I think the first thing would be my, like the the family that, that's come before me, the the trials and tribulations and, and the blood and all the sweat that, that they've shed for us to have the opportunities and the lifestyle I have. And, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I got my grandmother's picture over here, my grandfather's picture over there. You know, that's the first thing I see when I get up. And I think secondly, it's it's to, as my brother would, would say, you know, we're here to change lives, you know, 
we've been put on this earth to to do our best and yeah i look at his picture too and i'm like all right family they're all watching yep i get to it so that's, I, that's I my it. family supports me and, and and definitely gives me the strength to to be my best self to find my my vision and, and follow that you know and, and i'm glad you said that made a it's it's kind of like a visual um, way to keep yourself on track and to also be reminded of the strength that they had. So whenever you look at those, those pictures, those pictures of your grandfather, your grandmother, whomever, you know, other family members you have, um, that could be a good tool for anyone who's watching or who, anyone who will see the replay of this is placing visual moments where you can kind of remind yourself like, you know what, I can get through this. My grandmother went through so much. My grandfather went through so much. And this is a tiny blip. Not to discredit your, what you're feeling, but just to remind yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one better. I keep my mom's bracelet she gave me from high school. Like the last like piece of jewelry she gave me. I got my grandfather's military ring. You know, Whoa. so I got, you know, usually I usually have my grandmother's ring. So I'm, you know, I always try to keep something that's, you know, keeping me grounded i should say you know yes. trying to keep something and just like my little pink bandana you know i'll use that for breast cancer awareness and it kind of fits the, the yeah. Right yeah. Now, but it's all about the little reminders for sure absolutely man that's that's super dope and it's just you know like i said before it's the little things that kind of keep you you know keep you aware keep that that goal that the the end goal in mind for you yeah. so that's a, a, a good tool um you touched on this a little bit earlier. You said um, something about being strong for others. So how do you remain strong for others without forgetting about yourself? Again, how do you remain strong for others without forgetting about you? I... Or is that a work in progress? <laughs> yeah, that's why you got me there, because, you know, I... I can be known to over exude myself in certain moments and, and have to take a step back for myself, you know, and realize, you know, I can't exhaust myself in one thing and, and trying to accomplish all the other things I'm trying to do as well. Yeah. Uh, you have to find a uh, you know, balance in life. As yeah. with a lot of things, you know, we talk strength, you talk, you know, mind, body, and soul. You know, Absolutely. It's you not know, just the mental, the mind thought, it's the physical too, eating, you know, working out if you want. And then, you know, you got to be able to feed your soul. If that's religion, if that's meditation, you know, it's, it's, it's all of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I completely agree. And I think that, you know, we, as a, I guess I, and I say this, I'm casting a wide net when I say this, but we as a people um, have kind of, through the years have been placed in positions where we've had to take care of other people and not ourselves and not our families because we that was the job. The job was to take care of other people and right. to put other people's needs first. And so there's this, um, I guess, like a systemic conditioning almost of you know, not, not taking care of number one. So you'll work yourself to the bone because you think that that's what's required. You'll um, stay up all night and do, you know, whatever it takes to get that, that project or whatever it is done. And then you get to the actual, you know, event or presentation and you're shocked. Can't even remember anything that you, <laughs> that you, you know, have been working on or, Whatever the case may be, it's to me, I've seen, I can't speak for you, but um, for me, it's really been a challenge to put myself first. I've had to really during this time of quarantine, like actually like think about it and really, really um, what things that I need to do to make sure I'm okay. Yeah. You know, I think that has a lot to do with like setting some sort of goals, keeping, you know, your mind in you know, not so scattered, but yeah, you know, trying to delegate time for certain things and have a, a good follow through if you can. Yeah, um, I, I know I, I, I know what you're saying. I know that I 
kind of exhaust myself at times, but I, you know, it's like looking at the cup half full, half empty. I like to look at all the, the good and the change that I'm making in the world. And, you know, I wouldn't be doing it if it didn't make it as much as a difference as, you know, like I'm not going to fully exhaust myself. You know, my tank never hits empty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, you can't get to that point. But, you know, but you know when you need to slow down. And I think that this time with COVID and whatnot has given people an opportunity to see the deeper lying levels of themselves that yeah. they need to focus on. And, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I think that was giving back to the community and giving, you know, we did all these self care for healthcare workers through Glam for Good. And, you know, we put all these packages together and, you know, it, you know, it was during a trying time for everyone, but, you know, yeah. I, you know at the end of the day, what I was doing could outweigh everything of, you know, a couple an extra hour of sleep here or getting to there, you know. <laughs> He's like, I'll sleep. I'll sleep later. Whenever. I, I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm so young. Yeah, right? <laughs> I heard you, man. I heard you. Well, like I said before, what you're doing is admirable. So, you know, that's if that's what brings joy, then obviously more of that. Yeah. No, but you, you know? need to focus on yourself. I can't, I can't stress that enough, as you had said. You know, just find your balance. True, true. And that's what life is about. Um, I want to quickly go through, I was looking on, um, I think it's inc.com and like incorporated.com and uh, it says, or provided nine ways to build your inner strength, just as some takeaways for, for some people who are watching or we'll see this in the replay. Um, the first one is ask yourself why, then find your answer. So ask yourself why and then find like the reason find the reason um number two and you can say, you can chime in on any of these if you want to number two is put yourself first interesting we just talked about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um number three train your mental and emotional body as well as your physical self that's kind of what I was referring to, the mind, body, soul kind of regimen, you know. It's yeah. not just one thing. You got to collectively put these things together, mm -hmm. find your balance. And, you know, I, I ate a little too much ice cream during the quarantine. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then, yep. you know, my, my, that physicality kind of got cut down <clears throat> quite a bit. <laughs> but... I, I made up for that with reading a little more and keeping my mind right and, and going into a little bit of meditation and, and cooking different meals. Yes. And, you know, that's what kind of kept me a little more sane is I couldn't work out physically, but I could work out in the kitchen, you know, <laughs> like oh, cooking up hey. meals. And... Small wins, man. You, you yeah. like, like about I like that one. I like you that got, one. You got to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is decide, commit, and act. Decide, commit, and act. That's tougher than it's than it seems. It um, is. But yes, I yeah. would agree. <laughs> tell that to my dad. I tried to tell that to my dad, and he's like, "Son, have you though?" You know. <laughs> I know, but dad sometimes can be, you know. <laughs> it's the best way. You know, it takes me a minute. You know. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I understand. Give me some. Give me some grace. Give me some yeah. time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> number five is don't let fear don't let fear factor into your decision making good luck easier said than done right <laughs> yep yep at least and this is a part of you know ways to build your inner strength and okay loosely, I, like, I like a little fear though in life and i mean it kind of it kind of makes you it keeps you on your toes like it's yeah it don't feed into it you got to get to know it before you can you know acknowledge it but then you have to deal with it I like or that. Not. Yeah, I like that. Look at you. Um, number six, embrace what scares you. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> bah. Yeah. You know, we're right. We're right at Halloween, so you you have the perfect perfect timing to do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Number seven is declutter your mind. Meditation. Uh, yeah. Go back to bed. You know, now that I can do my jogs again, that's my that's my. My time. Same, same. I wake up and I and I run. 
And the thing is, is that I haven't been able to in a couple of days just because the weather's been a little funky. Yeah. Um, and I can tell the difference. And, oh. and I can tell the difference. Like at one point, it was so bad. And it was like at the height of the pandemic, I was jogging in my bedroom. So I know the person who lives under us was like, who the hell is <laughs> hmm. <laughs> literally my poor thing. jogging in place and like, you know, every everything. Just high knees, baby. High knees. <laughs> high knees, exactly. Number eight is become your own best friend. I uh, I like that one a little bit. I mean, it seems a lot of it, like people turn into a hermit, but I think in the city, mm -hmm. you have to be your best friend. You have to be able to make it. Not, I want to say make it on your own because everyone needs a hand. Everyone needs a little something, but you need to be at peace with yourself before you know you can help anyone be at peace or do something yeah. useful for anything else. <laughs> no, absolutely. No, I completely agree. I completely agree. And I think this is, you know, no time like this hasn't really happened. You know what I mean? Like it hasn't happened before, not as, at least in our generation, but um, hasn't happened before. So a lot of people are forced to kind of figure out, you know, who they are and like, you know, what they like, who they really are, at their core mm -hmm. and really learn how to become their best friend. And like, you know, unfortunately, we've seen cases where people haven't really been successful at that. But it is really important for you to kind of be at peace with who you are. Yeah, it's a process. It's, and that's a, the beauty about, you know, finding your pace. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can't get on yourself for not knowing the answers right away. And True. It comes in time. It comes in time. Um, the last one is practice calm and self-control in adversity. So practice calm in self-control in adversity. I think that's very relevant for this day and age, practicing calm and, you know, all the diversity and all the craziness in the world. You really need to know your, your stance and what you're willing to lose. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what it comes down to. Um, you can stand <laughs> up for a lot of things, but at the end of the day, especially with, you know, if you're a person of color or not, whatever it's what you're willing to stand up for which we're willing to lose at the end of the day um, yeah I, I couldn't have said it better myself man um <laughs> so i got just a few minutes with you but um can you hit us with like maybe one or two things that you feel could really help to maintain um you know your strength whether it's physical mental spiritual just some nuggets that you feel like help you that you feel like could probably help someone else. I mean, I know a lot of people are feeling alone at this time, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe they're too <laughs> caught up. Maybe they have kids in the house or whatnot, but True. you know, it's, it's maybe just finding a hobby for yourself. I, I found, you know, a little sewing I've gotten into with a little few group of people and some friends and trying to do something I've never done before. Oh, that's cool. um, I found that very uh, therapeutic in a sense, you could say. Yeah. yeah. So I have my own little group of friends that we talk about this thing and we kind of, oh, well, how is yours coming type of deal? So that, that, that's nice. I, If you do have a lot of people and you're trying to maybe bring the family together and not so much, you know, find recipes for other people to do or, you know, delegate. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, my mom was a big uh, supporter of chores. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know too many parents that are not. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but she was heavy, heavy on oh, yeah. That's yeah. not a lot. <laughs> but you did say, you know, it's a military background, too, so things yeah, happen. You, you got to be prepared for the worst and expect the best, or the opposite, one of those things. Yeah, um, yeah. Pristine. What other, what other gems can I share? Good music. I've been going through some vinyl oh. collections. Um, you never know your, you know where you're going, so you know where you come from, type of deal. You know, this yeah. great family, Motown. You know, learning all that good stuff has been very, very interesting. So, yeah, I've been, as my grandma would say, you can travel anywhere in this world through a book. Absolutely. You don't Absolutely. need to be. You know, this is coming from a woman who never drove a day in her life, but she was. 
well well kept and you know she's yeah. traveled the world uh, and it's it's don't underestimate the power of, of a book a good book yeah that's inspiring and and um kind of on topic still but Syed wants to know what the artwork is behind you because i guess apparently he wants to travel the world through this artwork <laughs> that's shepherd fairly uh there's one of his too Dope. Say the name again. Jeffrey Fairley. I believe he did Obey, the designer from Obey. OBE. Oh, yeah. That makes sense because that, that looks like the... Yeah, yeah. Though That was um, a gift to commemorate my grandmother, the strength and her, her positivity. So, yeah, those are my Shepherd. So dope. That is dope. So, Syed, you have your answer, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> you can look him up. <laughs> yeah, we got to go snowboarding sometime. Oh, snap. You know what? Is he is he a big snowboarder? From what I remember, unless he turned on me. I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never been snowboarding a day in my life. So I have no <laughs> clue. <laughs> if anyone wants to hit the slopes, I'm game. <laughs> I'll be up in the you know, the cabin by the by, by... <laughs> Got you No problem. Yo, I'll be dressed the part, yeah. but it's not gonna be the part. I'm gonna let you know right now. Bring all the fashion and all the feels. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly look really quickly yeah thank you so much man thank you for your time thank you for your your brain thank you for your honesty thank you for your intelligence i really do appreciate it um like i said i follow my gut when i you know get these topics that kind of drop you know or downloaded to me so i'm so glad that this was something that resonated with you and i really really hope that people walk away from this um encouraged and enlightened I hope so too. I, I couldn't be more honored to be on this uh, Taylor Talks. Uh, also, I've been uh, having an amazing time sharing my little story and uh, promoting a little breast cancer awareness. Go vote. Get a little yes. swag this year. Go Over. vote. That was for you. My goodness. But and look, yeah. before I let you go, I have yeah. a fast round of questions, super fast round of questions, all right? So you got to think fast. That's what it's called, brother. All right, you ready? Shoot. Love or hate? Love. Early or late? Early. Necktie or bow tie? Bow tie. Michigan or New York? I don't know why I said Michigan. I felt like, didn't you have, do you have like? Detroit. That's my, De my whole family is from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday Night Live or Mad TV? Ooh. Age myself. Mad TV. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Boots. <laughs> Boots or sneakers? Sneakers. Eve the rapper or Eve the talk show host? Eve the rapper. <laughs> Dine outside or just cook rough for your riders. I'm sorry, what was the last one? You said Rough Riders? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last one is dine outside or just cook for yourself? I'll cook for myself. It's too cold for it right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Those outside. heat lamps ain't, ain't, ain't doing too much. They ain't working. They ain't working. <laughs> um, dress pants or sweatpants? Dress pants. Mountains or beach? Mountains. Fight it out or turn the other cheek? I'm turning the other cheek these days. <laughs> but if I have to fight it out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bop, 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 bop. Exactly. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I ain't no gun, but I'm pushing it. Yeah. Um, yoga or CrossFit? CrossFit. New Kanye or old Kanye? Old Kanye. Read the blogs or read a book? Read a book. Oh, God. <laughs> Lucky or blessed? Truly blessed. Watching sitcoms or watching movies? Movies. BET or MTV? BET. Do you prefer black or African American? I welcome both, but it depends on, you know, I, I depend <laughs> who's it coming from. <laughs> the, the context, right? <laughs> That's a deep, I could do a whole thing on that one. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Try to catch me there. Exactly. Life of the party or left the party? I used to be the life. I've now left. Yep. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> Although, I am still the first on the dance floor and the last to leave. I was going to say, they still recognize me when I'm there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Um, fashion model or role model? Role model. Summer or winter? I like layers, winter. Embrace change or scared of change? Oh, I embrace change. Yeah. yeah. Traditional tuxedo or Canadian tuxedo? <laughs> Canadian. Hmm. Hey, switch it up, right? That's right. <laughs> the, last <laughs> one I, <laughs> the last one I have is strong or weak. Strong. Strong all day, bro. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. Well, look, brother, I thank you so, 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 so much, man. It's been good catching up with you. Truly, truly. For this very, very short time. We cannot let all these years go by again. No, got, no. no got to keep in no. touch. Got to keep in touch. And I'm surprised that we haven't been on set together since, like, God knows how long. You know, it's it's overdue for sure, and uh, it's, it's definitely to, soon to come, I'm sure as well. And, Absolutely. Uh, as my brother said, he told me a quote. I forgot who it was, but we haven't come this far just to come this far. Oh, wow. So let's keep on doing. Be appreciative for what we've accomplished and where we've, you know, mentally and, and physically have gotten to at this point. And I'm 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 optimistic of what the future is to hold, but I'm very looking towards the positive side of things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, much love to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Much continued success to your brother. And uh, we'll talk soon. God bless. Look, Thank you very much. Great with Jason Cameron. <laughs> Peace, brother. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you, man.